Today, I'll be showing you how to simplify your life with a better and more organized system for your to-do list. Don't go away. Rose-colored glasses, take one. Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Angel. And you're watching Rose-colored glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. In a world where people are quick to talk about the things they dislike, we want to keep it positive. So we'll be individually and collectively telling you about all the things we do like. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and come back again. Hi everyone, I'm Angel Logan and thank you for joining me today on Rose Color Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. If you're new to our channel and you want to watch some of our previous shows or you're a current subscriber trying to catch up on episodes that you've missed, you can search us on YouTube by typing at Rose Color Glasses Logan, going to the hashtag Rose Color Glasses or type the following web address into your browser youtube.com slash at rosecolorglasses-logan. My life is crazy busy. How about you? Do you ever feel overwhelmed with an ever-growing to-do list and no end in sight? Even worse, do you ever feel as though there's so many things on your list you just don't know where to start? Well, you're not alone because we've all been there. But more importantly, this doesn't have to be a huge problem. You just need an efficient system for prioritizing all the things that you need to do, and this begins with your to-do list. I've been a list person as far back as I can remember. In fact, when I was in college and busy with my studies, student government, socializing, and my job, I needed to find an easy way to juggle it all and not let anything slip through the cracks. Making lists have always kept me organized and on track. Now, I was never too crazy about structured types of planners or calendars, so I just created my own style of lists on paper, and this eventually evolved into my four list system. Having one long list of tasks can be confusing because it's difficult to know where to start. Some things need to be done immediately, while other things can wait. So for me, it's about prioritizing each task in a way that's practical, feasible, and enables me to get everything done. So the first list I'm going to talk about is your daily list. The items on this list need to be done today. It could be paying bills, returning a call, email, or message, stopping at the grocery store on the way home, or completing a work project. Some of the tasks on my list today include finishing the content for another video, doing some online marketing for our YouTube, reviewing our show for our next release, and creating a thumbnail for that video. I believe that you should get into the habit of checking off each item that you complete on your list. When you can see that item done, you can put it behind you and move on to the next. Plus, seeing it checked off will give you a feeling of accomplishment. We all need that as motivation to keep pursuing our goals. The second list that you should have is your weekly list. This list should have everything you need to complete this week, but not necessarily today. Perhaps you want to do your weekly cleaning on Saturday, banking on Friday, business lunch this week, or you have a doctor's appointment scheduled. 
For me, some of the items this week include working on some content with Dana that he wants to do for his next video, releasing the next video show on Thursday, doing some marketing for that video that evening, and editing on Friday. The third list in my system is the short-term list. This list contains items that don't need your immediate attention, but you'll be tackling in a few weeks or months. For instance, you might be doing your annual taxes or getting them prepared by an accountant, setting up your outdoor space and preparing your garden in the spring, or making plans for your summer vacation this year. So the fourth and final list I'm going to talk about is your long-term list. The items on this list don't require your immediate attention, but these are important goals that you want to achieve later, such as saving up for a new car, moving to a new apartment, or buying a house. These are all items that are important to you, but may not be financially within reach or practical to do right now. My four list system will work for your household, your business, or a blend of both. Now, whether you're a seasoned list person like me or you're trying this out for the first time, the only way this works is if your lists are visible and in a place where you can find them. Having your list scattered about in different places on your desk, in your drawer, in a notebook, in your pocket, or in your purse, this will only create more chaos because you won't know where to find your list or what's on them, possibly missing important tasks. Obviously, a phone or a computer app or even a structured planner will keep everything in one place. But personally, I prefer to use note paper. And I have a special desk copy holder with magnets and binder clips where I keep all of my lists. I don't have to look in a computer file, on my phone, or in a book. Everything is within reach and visible so I can see daily everything that I need to do. A small bulletin board where you can display your list would work too. It doesn't matter if you do this digitally or on paper, as long as you prioritize everything that you need to do based on importance and feasibility, daily, weekly, short-term, and long-term. And keep your list in an accessible and visible location. It will be much easier and less stressful to tackle everything while simplifying your life. If you have a different system of organization that works well for you, please share it in the comments section below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for watching. If you click on more in the description section below right above the comments, you'll find links and information about our channel in today's show. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our show, and I hope that you'll visit again to take a look through our rose-colored glasses. Until next time.